Welcome back to another episode of Jake's Outdoors. Thank you so much for clicking on the video. So today, I'm gonna show you guys how to cook some geese. A lot of you guys have been asking on the video that I did on how to clean the geese on do, to do a how-to cook video. So today, I'm gonna do a how-to cook video. Thanksgiving was yesterday, so uh, my Thanksgiving dinner is today. So I'm going to go to the store, get the ingredients you guys need to cook your goose, and I'm gonna cook it with you guys, and then I'm gonna take the goose, to the Thanksgiving dinner and have my family try it and see how they like it. So anywho, um, yeah, so I'm gonna go to the store, show you guys what you need, and uh, yeah, that's basically it. I'll show you guys the truck of Jacob Hollum right here today, and uh, this is a truck of a hunter. You got some corn for the deer. You always gotta carry it on a fishing pole. You always gotta have some green in your truck. This is actually from a couple days ago. Um, we had about five people, and this was all the geese that we, all the ducks that we shot. The the video is coming up soon. I hunted my friend's lease, so I decided to take all the ducks. Got some dog food for the dog, and you always got to carry around at least one decoy just in case they're absolutely everywhere. So yeah, that's about it. All right, guys. So before we do the uh, goose cook, we're gonna we're gonna jump this pond with Thanksgiving clothes on. With Thanksgiving clothes on, yes. No, we didn't get anything. Boo! We suck! My goodness. He's just shooting because he's retarded. Alright, now time to go get the get the goose. Hello everybody, welcome back. So I went to the store and I picked up some zesty zesty Italian dressing. This is what it's gonna look like. And some lawyer's steak and chop. It's uh with garlic and cracked black pepper and a little bit of uh, uh, lemon. So basically what you want to do is after you get your goose breast cut off the goose, washed thoroughly, what you want to do is you just want to marinate it for two days about, around two days. And whatever you want to marinate it in. If you think you like zesty Italian dressing, marinate it in zesty Italian dressing. If you think you like this, marinate it in this. These are my two go-to favorite types of things that I would use to uh, to marinate it. And you marinate it for just two days, put it in a plastic baggie, pour that stuff in there, add a tad bit of water if you want to. If not, that's okay. And just mix it up and set it in the refrigerator. <clears throat> then after, I'm not going to marinate it right now because I'm going to do this video in all in one day. But anywho, after you do that, you just want to kind of take your goose out and set it onto a plate. And I'll show you what to do next. What I also got at the store is I also got some bacon. This is what we're going to be wrapping the goose in to cook with. And I also got some limes. Now, since goose breasts are so big and they're just they're so tough, what we're going to do is we're going to cut a pocket in the breast and we're going to put those limes in there and wrap it up with bacon. Now, if you guys want to cut up some lettuce and some carrots and cook those or raw and put them in there and put the... And, or you want to put it in, cut a little pocket in the goose breast and put those carrots or lettuce, whatever, in there. So that way when you cut into it, it all just pours out and looks amazing. So if you guys want to do that, you can do that too. I know, Gage. Doesn't that look really good? Alright, so the limes are placed into the pockets right now. What we're going to do is we're going to wrap it in bacon right now with this. And then we can put it, go ahead and put it on the grill. Alright guys, that's the bacon wrap goose. Gage is really wanting a piece of it. So, um... That's about the grill setting right there. It says it's about 600 some degrees in there, but it ain't that's it ain't 600 degrees in there. Any, but anywho, I crank it up a little bit over halfway, almost to full speed, and uh, the bacon's gonna get pretty dang. I don't know how long you want to cook it for, but the bacon's gonna be cooked pretty dang well. The bacon's not gonna be quite burnt, but the bacon is gonna be cooked very well before the goose is fully cooked. Um, we do cut the pocket in there, so. I said, I have this much meat you have to cook all the way through. You don't have that much. So a little bit on each side. It'll cook all the way through. So it won't take a super long time. And the goose won't be burnt. That's also why we have the bacon on the outside. The bacon will taste really good on the outside. But anyway, you don't want to eat it with the, uh, 
the limes in there when we're done cooking it. You're going to want to take the limes out. But anyway, that is about it. Um, anywhere from 10 to 30 minutes of grilling. You just got to kind of sit here and watch it. Everybody's grill is different. Everybody's going to cook at a different temperature. I can't tell you guys the exact temperature, but you just got to sit there and watch it. Cut into it a little bit if you want to. Look at it and see how rare it is to see if it's actually done or not. Alright guys, those are the grills. Those are the steaks on the grill. I went ahead and let it heat up for about five minutes before I decided to put it on there. It's almost at as high as it can go, so we're going to back that down just a tad bit. So a little bit over, but yeah. So anyway, we're going to see how it goes. I'll set a timer actually right now, and I'll get back with you guys in ten minutes to see how it's cooked. Alright guys, so five minutes has gone by, and that's basically what it's looked like right now. So I think 10 minutes on each side will do these uh, rest pretty good. 10 minutes on each side, tops. Uh, I'm going to do, I just did 5 minutes on one side. Flip it over to 5 minutes. And I'll cut into it and see how it is. And if I need to change it, I will. I'll probably do like maybe actually 3 minutes more on each side. And we'll be, we'll call it good. So. Oh man, guys. Alright, that is what 5 minutes on each side looks like. It looks really good. We're going to cut into it. And see how this bad boy is. And see if we need to cook it a tad bit longer or not. Alright guys, I've cut into it about that much. That is about as rare as I want it. So, but I don't know if it's entirely like that all the way through. So I'm going to let it sit about a couple minutes right here. Like two more minutes right here. Flip it over. Two more minutes right there. It'll be absolutely perfect and ready to go. Alright guys, that is it. I kind of wanted it just about that rare. So that is about how I want it. And that is absolutely perfect. Look at that. This is going to be really, really good. Oh, yeah. If you guys want to cook it a little bit longer to get the bacon a little bit more crisp. I thought I was going to, last time I did this, is the bacon was really cooked really hot, really fast. So, about seven or eight minutes on each side, almost high is just about perfect for this. You just got to do it. You just got to figure it out. But, my goodness. All right, I guess we're going to take the limes out and we're going to cut into it and see how it is. Guys, it is a little rare, but that's just how I like it. We're going to see how it tastes. Mmm. That's really good. So, after when I'm done, I take the limes out and I just squeeze the lime on top of it. And that really made it look, that's, it really made it taste really good. What I did was, the inside of it is going to look a little brown. It's not going to look very cooked, but it will be. Um, it is a little rare, but that's how I like it. Um, if you guys want to, put some seasoning salt on there. Anything like that, that would absolutely make it look really good. This is, I'll show you how it is. There's brown in there, and that may not look cooked, but it is. And that pink is just absolutely perfect. See that brown? It's going to look like that a little bit, but that's okay. It's pink just like that. That's exactly how I want it. It's not too rare. Gage helped us with the kills. We're going to go ahead and give him some. Mm. Hello, everybody. Sorry, guys. I just forgot. I forgot to close the video out when I was editing. So I had to come outside and talk to you guys a little bit more. Anywho, if you guys liked the video, go ahead and subscribe. If you guys... I really want to figure out what you guys like. If you want to see any type of video, comment below.